Welcome back to the 3D Botmaker Diecast Racing League, King of the Mountain. Let's go. First up, we have Dr. John of Jack John and Katie Racing. Okay, that's not a Firebird. No, it's a Mustang SVO. Then why is the symbol on the hood? I don't know, but next up we have Juan Claude Damned Cat driving in the Toyota MR2. So Juan Claude a cat? It was a damned cat. Got it. Then we have Banniger Lynx in the Ford Sierra Cosworth. Lynx comes to us from San Francisco. A fellow Californian there. And last up. Oh, let me do this one. It's Caleb Laserwolf of Nerd Punk Racing. Laser Wolf driving a convertible C4 Corvette. Now that is a legendary name if I ever heard one. Caleb Laser Wolf. Wow. Looks like he's ready for space. May the force of gravity be with you, Caleb. May the force be with you. Here we go. They're off for race one. Dr. John and Banniger Lynx out in front. Dr. John first down the off ramp. Juan passes up Lynx to move into second. Come on, Juan. Take out Dr. John. It's a close race around the corner. They're headed to the final turn. And Dr. John, whoa, Juan Claude gets the pass. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. And the win goes to Juan Claude, damn cat. Make him pay, Juan. Make him pay. That car of Dr. John is absolutely a blasphemy. The Trans Am logo is a symbol of prestige and power and should never be on a Mustang, ever. I guess in Dr. John's defense, the Mustang did race in the Trans Am series. Don't try to defend this piece of trash, okay? Okay, that's uncalled for. The Screaming Chicken belongs on a Pontiac. Pontiac. Okay, this is coming from the guy who put a Ferrari logo on a Pontiac Fiero. Bestowing a great honor upon the Ferrari logo. Look, if that's how Dr. John wants to roll, that's how Dr. John's gonna roll. He's rolling in shame. That's one win so far for Juan. He'll be starting this race in lane one in the white Toyota MR2. Do it again, Juan, do it again. Juan and Banniger side by side. Dr. John advancing on the bottom lane. Banniger Lynx trying to pass Dr. John. Come on, take him out. I got the fatality button ready. A lot of swerving there by Dr. John. That's really going to slow him down in the times. Let's go, Lynx. There's more contact in the parking garage. And this time, Dr. John will hold him off to take the win. Banniger Lynx comes in second. Uh, hold on, we're getting a message right now from the comment section. Oh, is this live? Okay, apparently it's Banager Lynx. Not Banniger. Banager. According to the English dub, yes. Banana Links. No, that's not right. Okay, but what's going on with my boy Caleb Laserwolf? I don't know, but something suspicious is going on over there in that parking garage. That's all I'm saying. You think it's weed? I don't know. I'm not throwing out any accusations here. I'm just... Something is suspicious. Well, I don't know either. I just heard some rumors. Well, Caleb Laserwolf just needs to focus on making it to the finish line. Here we go with race two. Dr. John currently in the lead by one point over Juan Claude. Help us, Juan Claude. You're our only hope. Dr. John once again taking the lead on the bottom lane. Juan Claude in pursuit. It's a close race here as the MR2 chases down the Mustang. Let's go, Juan. Dr. John now stretching that lead out, going through the final turn. And this is going to be an easy win for Dr. John in the Ford Mustang SVO Trans Am Edition. 3D, come on. Relax, relax. And there goes Caleb Laserwolf once again in that same garage. Notice how he's hiding behind the pillar? Yeah, that is suspicious. I'm telling you, something is going on back there. He might be dealing in that Wookiee. Wookiee? Isn't that what the kids call it nowadays? I have no idea what you're even talking about here. You know a little Wookiee, TIE Fighter, Imperial Cruiser, get the Metachlorians flowing? It just sounds like you're naming random things from Star Wars. Popping a little Darth Maul with some Sidious. Okay, you're definitely making this up. Gotta get that Wampa. Here we go with the last race. Dr. John on top with 13. Juan Claude has 10. Juan definitely has a chance here, but he's gonna need to get around that Mustang of Dr. John. Juan Claude and Dr. John out in front. Dr. John takes the lead coming down the off ramp. There was some contact back there between Juan Claude and Banager Lynx. Come on, Juan Claude, that damn cat. Dr. John through the final turn. And this race will go to Dr. John in the Trans Am SV. It's not a Trans Am 3D, it's a Mustang. I apologize, that was a Freudian slip. That means Dr. John will be advancing Wait a minute, on. 3D, wait a minute. We got ourselves a Dirty sweet. You smoking that Wookiee? I think someone should notify the authorities. Come on, 3D, don't be a narc. Well, congratulations to Caleb Laserwolf for joining the Dirty Sweep Club with four DNFs in a row. He didn't come to race. He came to go to outer space. To infinity and beyond. Uh, that's Toy Story. Anyways, Dr. John in the Ford Mustang SVO will be moving on to the tournament rounds. Don't go anywhere. Coming up after the break, we've got more racing with qualifying group number 14. Wookie, don't you? Nah, man, I don't know 
Yeah, we're live on the air, guys. Welcome back to King of the Mountain. It's time for qualifying group 14. We've got Fukai in the Nissan Skyline R30. You gonna try that last name? Nope. Well, next up we have Tom Bonham in the Ford Escort Mark II. He's driving for Bongo Diecast Motorsports. And then in the orange Audi Sport Quattro, it's none other than Papa Pugsley. Papa Pugsley in the house. Papa, don't take no mess. And last up, we have quite a treat here. It's blank. Blank? Uh, yeah, but the car is a Toyota Tercel. Did they just forget to put a name down? It's written on top of the car, B-L-N-K. Just blank. Yeah, blank. Huh. Anyways, here we go with the first of four races. One of these drivers will join Dr. John in the tournament rounds. Papa Pugs out in front gets passed up by Tom Bonham. Fukai also passing up Papa Pugsley now in second place. Tom Bonham with a very large lead here. This will be an easy win as Tom Bonham passes the finish line. Oh, there goes Papa Pugsley. Oh, and we got contact at the intersection. The hits keep on rolling after the race, but it's great to see everyone make it past the finish line this time. Yeah, but there are chances of a double dirty sweep. It's a stupid award anyways. How dare you, 3D? The fans love it. Do they really? Hashtag dirty sweep in the comments if you love a good dirty sweep. I just feel like we're rewarding the wrong thing. Consistency. We're rewarding consistency. Yeah, but consistency is only a good attribute if you're good at something. You could be good at failing. I suppose. Here we go with race two. Tom Bonham starting lane one. Papa Pugsley in lane two in the orange Audi. Right now, he's Audi in front. Oh, three. Fukai currently in second, followed by Tom Bonham. It's a close race. Fukai looking to pass around the corner, gets blocked by Papa Pugsley. Don't take no mess, Papa Pugsley. Fukai creeping on the side, but Papa P whoa. Oh man, Papa was a rolling stone. That was Tom Bonham who rolled it, but Papa Pugsley takes the win. Oh, come on. I think his brakes might be out. Well, Blank needs to get that checked out, but Papa Pugsley wins that race over Fukai. Here's a look at the replay. Fukai in the silver Nissan Skyline trying to make the pass around the turn. Papa Pugsley shuts the door on him, but you can see Fukai doesn't give up, stays on the tail of that Audi, and then starts creeping up on Papa Pugsley's left side right here. But Papa Pugsley had just enough speed to hold him off. That was a hard slam for Tom Bonham. Tom Bonham now tied with Papa Pugsley. Both drivers have seven points each. Fukai one point behind with six, and Blank has two. Just two? Yeah. Huh. It's a close race so far. Tom Bonham gaining on the outside in that Ford Escort. Papa Pugsley passes up Fukai to move into second. Can he catch up to Tom Bonham? Oh no, he spun out. That's going to leave Tom Bonham with a huge lead, and he will cruise his way past the finish line to take his second win of the night. Here comes Papa Pugsley rolling in reverse. And here comes Blank to take third. What happened to Fukai? Oh no, the Wookiee's got to him okay, too. Okay, what is going on behind these pillars? He might be dealing with that Rancor. The what? Sniffing that Sarlacc. There's no such thing as a Sarlacc. Yeah, explain that to Boba Fett. We need some kind of investigation. You do know what snitches get, right? It can be an internal investigation. We can do it ourselves. 3D. What? Are you trying to job of the hut? No, I don't know what any of this means. Okay, well you don't have to be a Count Doku. Whatever, here we go. Fourth and final race. Tom Bonham has 12. Papa Pugsley has 10. Tom Bonham in the white Ford Escort. Papa Pugsley in the orange Audi Sport Quattro. Which one will take it and move on to the tournament round? Come on, Papa Pugsley's got a brand new bag. Fukai moves into first, followed by Papa Pugsley. Tom Bonham currently back in third. It's a little too late for Fukai to be making moves out there. Fukai has no chance of moving on, but here comes Pugsley trying to make the pass, but cannot get it before. Whoa. Oh no, Papa, don't go. Before the finish line. And the winner's gonna be Tom Bonham by one point, ah. 14 points to Papa Pugsley's 13. A very narrow finish and win there for Tom Bonham. It's a sad day for Pugs around the world, but respect to Papa Pugsley for putting on a great show out there tonight. So there you have it. Tom Bonham will be joining Dr. John in the tournament rounds. Dr. John currently qualified in eighth place with a time of 15.26. Tom Bonham currently in 12th with 16.14. There are only two spots left before the tournament rounds begin. Oh, it's about to go down. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Until next time, I'm 3D Botmaker. And I'm 2D. And we'll see you on, on the, the track. track.